Hi, it's Hazy and welcome to my channel. Today we are showing you how to make these mini little labels. I've got different methods. You can combine several together if you like as well. Show you how to do them, um, different um, approaches and different ideas. So, okay. If you'd like to join me today, please give me a thumbs up. Please share my video, press the notification bell with your crafty fingers. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much. And the paper I use is on my Facebook group, if you're on my Facebook group as well. Okay, or well it should be. If it's not, I'm going to have a look <laughs> and put it on there again. Okay then. Thank you so much and let's go. Right then, just a little... Uh, <laughs> very messy <laughs> very messy tutorial right okay and uh, these are the little mini ideas we've got I'm using scraps you don't need to use scraps for these tiny little um mini labels don't you and i'm using ball pins you can use safety pins definitely because i would have done if i hadn't got them if i hadn't found them again <laughs> So let me show you a close up of these as well. There we go. Look, these are the ones I've got on cheesecloth. Yeah, so you can stick a bit of material into your journal. And oh, they can do a bit of lace as well. Actually, lace would do it. And add your tiny little labels. I've achieved that without using these are die cuts. That one and this one's die cuts. I've achieved both without without messing about with my die cut machine. <laughs> um, before that's that, that's an old one. I'll show you my new ones today. I'm gonna move my twelve by twelve journal out of the way. Right, so this one look, I've ch oh, look I see my big hand. That one look, look at that little tiny little um thing there. I don't know if you like, I'm not too keen on this one, but okay, it's fine. Uh, which one did I do next? This one. That's another one with a little hole, which I like. And then there's this one as well, with a different approach. Okay, if you've noticed, I've done the die cut um, faux stitching around the edge, and but I've also done that as well. So that's I've done both of that one. Okay. Right then, so uh, so we're going to show you what to use and how to use them. Okay, if you noticed, I've done my own handwriting for this, which is I think that's why that looks so bad. I don't know, <laughs> and that's not that's um, type uh, printed off my tablet uh, using Word, and that's my handwriting. Very neat. Okay, notice I've done two different E's. Which was annoying. So I thought, why have I done a different E? But it doesn't matter, does it? It's fine. And then I've got that wrong as well. I've cut it an extra. I've had to cut an extra hole because I did it in completely the wrong place. But did you notice? No, you didn't notice, did you? So we don't worry about that, do we? Okay then. So I'm going to use. I'm going to try and use my word things because I'm always writing them, aren't I? <laughs> Oh, oh, I'll get into the habit of doing that. Right, this table is such a mess. I've got some uh, old papers on there, so we'll move those. Um, now, what we're we looking for now? Oh, my words! So, right, the words are on the table. I've been looking all over for them. Right, okay. So you've got, I've got these, and some of them are, aren't on the same line. I think I'll achieve that later. So that's um, this must be an old copy. So we'll have the word flourish, won't we? Well, there's several ways you can do this. I rounded this. Which one did I round? The awesome. Where is it? The awesome. I've rounded it in black. Right, this is really close up, so I'm going to move up, 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 up one level so you can see a little bit more. Okay, so. Um, do we have focus? Oh, I did focus. Yeah, I've done focus. Um, I don't know whether to do it like this or not because. No, in case I get it on the other bits. So what I'm going to do is 
out first. I have actually ed edged it up in uh, black, but uh, you can't really tell. Okay, oops. Oh, I've cut that too close to the H, haven't I? Uh, is that gonna, well, should we have to try and do it all close instead? I'm not doing the. Um, I didn't realise it was close. Uh, we'll do it like this. We'll do it like we originally did it, right? So you get. I'm using this big f fat sharpie because it's the nib's gone really fat. Okay, so I'm rubbing it against this. Looks like a capital H anyway. So if we're okay on this one. Just cut yours better than mine, that's all. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you can. Right, so this is um this is a sheet I did myself from rubber stamps, stencils, sprays probably and things like that. And this is months and months old. I think there's I don't know whether there's still a copy on the group. This, hopefully there is. I mean, if there isn't, I can always put it up again. It's just something I've had for ages. And I, this is a copy anyway. It's not the original. I don't know where the original is. It could be anywhere. Why doesn't this come out? Come on. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I don't know. Let's just get rid of that blob. That might help. No, don't mean me. <laughs> get rid of that blob. Right, um, okay. And... Um, I know, we don't want to get rid of me at the moment. I'm trying to do a tutorial there. Right, okay. Um, let's get that on there like that. Can we see that? Can we actually see that? Because I can't tell if you can see that because that's in the middle. So I'll actually bring it over here so I can, yeah, I can see that. That says the word flourish. And what you can do if it doesn't, <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't stick it down properly, like I haven't, I don't think that's a, that is equal... I am going to just do it parallel to the actual thing I've just stuck down rather than the edge of the paper because it doesn't matter because it's not in the, it's not got any direction really this hasn't so this we're going to make a straight label by the looks of it because I've cut that straight and you can do what you like you don't have to do it like this at all you can make a you can make a point if you like like with your I'm using file folder Obviously you can use what you like, you can use a normal card, card stock if you like, if you're American. If you're American you'll understand the word card stock. If you're probably anywhere in the... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> What's that thing? Oh, this is something like everybody... Oh yeah, that's right, somebody said um, everywhere in the world football is um, the name for soccer. But Americans, yeah, anyone that call it soccer. <laughs> That's right, yeah. So every other, apparently, yeah. So football to us doesn't mean where you, those things where you get padded up and it's the one where you just kick the red and black or whatever colour ball around. Normal shape ball, as in... Mm, ball shaped <laughs> ball shaped ball how about that ball shaped ball fancy having one of those there we go right so that that won't so we stick down there okay this is actually this is my new file folder so yeah it's supposed to be lighter than the other one but it looks a bit more just looks a bit more like cardboard to me yeah hmm Yep, so am I cutting that on screen? I am, yes. Right, what you can do with this is actually cut the corners off if you want to, or, or you can do it in the machine. The machine will, my machine will actually take that, I think, my little one. But I'm just going to cut it off because it looks nice, doesn't it? And then I'm going to go round the edge again with this. So this is like this is a plaque one, so this is different to what I've showed you on the other two. 
so you can stick this on like a plaque on a page or a or a pocket or something so you can save that in a little place and with, the, with all the other ones that you've made and you can take that out and, and uh, use it on a pocket or something or a, I don't know if I've got an example let's see if I've got an example let's have a look I love looking my 12 by 12 <laughs> this is what I was looking for this one day and I finally found it right you can put it on there look there's some pockets there no, I mean, you can't see that, can you? I can hear a lorry there, can't you? Yeah. Well, I've got flourish over there anyway, but we'll put that, we'll just imagine that's there like that. I think put that there. Look, I've got flourish on the other page. Flourish, yeah. <laughs> flourish. Yeah. The way I spelt flourish like that, like flower. That sort of flower. Flourish. How do you put that? Flourish. It's funny, I always think about it. Why do you, put, why do you spell it like that? Right, so the other one, okay, so the, now you've got the gist of it, haven't you? But let's have a go at doing one of the other ones. I'll do the other two, and I think that's all I need to show you, really. I don't really need to show you. I'm going to do one like this. I'm going to try and remember to do one like this. Okay, we don't have to do our own writing, but... Yeah, we're just making little mini cute labels, because often we need these little mini ones, don't we? You can make a great big one. You can make a big version of it if you like. So let's have... Ooh, we'll try happy. We'll try happy, shall we? Yeah, let's try happy. Oh, we're doing awesome. We are doing awesome, yes. I'm just gathering everything on top of my paper. Right, so it's all going to get shifted about. Right, so I'll put that over there. Right, what I did with that actually was, look at this, not even in straight, but what I did was I'd actually covered that edge in black. Now we're not going to try a bit more look squared here. And yeah, this is just a combination. So you could do a combination, you can do that one like the first one we did like that as well. Obviously that one you can do like this. It's a mix and match situation. <laughs> Let's go for it here. Let's cut that off. So I'm just going a bit in so we don't have much, so much black showing. That's all I'm doing. That's what I did look last time. Okay, because that's a really clumsy black. Yeah, that'll do. And I just took a bit of this. And put it anywhere on there because you're not going to see what it what's what the actual picture is. And actually, I did the same. I did that. Did the actual black. There we go. Yeah, I did that didn't I? I did that black. So I'm going to put some. Oh, let's see if I remember to make that that uh, pattern at the front. So I did it like this. And come in a bit closer if you like, because you've got cut some off. And then at the front, from about here, you'd start to go down. You know, look at some of that. You know, you notice the. Um, I start start to change the direction of just after this or just we can do it at the same same place if you like I think that's going to look better it's up to you you don't have to copy me exactly do you just I'm just trying to inspire let's use what you have not what you I mean that's patterned you could use 12 by 12 papers and 6 by 6 papers for the backgrounds that'd be nice if you can't get hold of this I'm not sure whether it's on the group. Because I mean it seems to some of it seems to disappear after a bit. Go away cars. Drive somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. That's it. So that's there. So there we've got a nice little ooh, homemade. Homemade style. -y. And we can put that on there. 
So I'm going to stick that down on there, then I'm going to cut it out because that's how I do it. That's how you do it. That's how you get it exactly the same, right size. There we go. And I can't find my glue cloth. So I've got my glue cloth, but I've got this one. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to put it around there a bit and just cut it out quickly like this. It's easy if you do it like this and not struggle with a great big huge piece of paper. Right, I'm going to try and get the, mi the middle, try and get the hole in the middle this time. So just cut in parallel to all those lines. Okay, um, don't want to do that first and then do the, because you can put an edging on. Right, where's my thing? Thing, where are you? Here you are. This is my thing. Right, I've, made, I've taken the bin off because you can now see where the hole goes. Uh, theoretically, that is, you know, because last time I didn't, did I? I'm hoping that's somewhere like the middle. Um, I'm looking, I'm, yeah, I'm going with that. Oh, not too bad. That's not too bad, is it? So it's needed to be a slightly bit up there, in my opinion, but that's my opinion, that's all. Okay, and that's shining in my eyes. Okay, I don't know about yours. Okay, so we'll have a close up of that. Yay, there we go, hopefully. Uh, probably say move back to improve focus. <laughs> we usually do. Let's see if it will. Uh, let's see where it focuses. I think it focuses about there. Can you see how close that is? Okay, you can see it's not perfect. But if you look there, it is perfect. Yeah, it is beautiful. Right, so colours. What shall we use for the our little pin? Because we've got a hole in this one, haven't we? So we'll look for our pin, we'll have we'll choose a colour. Let's get this back. Hey, so we'll choose a colour out of here for this. And I think, oh that's a perfect one. That'd be absolutely perfect. That's the first time I've used this one. I'm just choosing whatever there's a little sometimes a little bit of colour in it. That's shining in my eyes now. Go. The sun's come out again. Lorries, oh dear. There we go. Let's just turn the corner. Or oh, I like Americans say, just turn the corner already. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, it's going now. Um, yeah. So there we go. So that's perfect. Look, if you notice, I've used different colours. That one's got a black one. This one's got a rose gold one. Oh, we haven't done this one yet. Shall we do this one? Let me show you how to do that one. Let's use the same size hole. That was I'm copying a um, what they called die cut. I'm copying a die cut for that one. Uh, although obviously we're not doing it the same size as the die cut. Let's go ideal for this. So we're doing an ideal word for this. <laughs> There we go, the ideal word is ideal. And I'm cutting it, look, like I showed you not to do. So I'm cutting it out of a, cum you know, being cum um, sort of quite cumbersome the way I'm doing it. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, we could ink them up, can't we, as well? I'm just going to move my drawer out of the way, what's on top of my. Uh, yeah, okay, we well, know we shouldn't have up that up there, should we? Yeah, I had a drawer on top of my. Oh yeah. Do you know what I haven't done this yet? And it looks great. So I've just been using that Sharpie just to use it up a bit. <laughs> I think I've squashed it somewhere. Right, this is going to be ideal for this. We're going to put it here. How about there? An ideal place for that is there. And I'm going to try and remember to do what I was showing going to show you. Oh, that's right. That, yeah, that's mm hmm. All right, so oh, I can put that quite no, close to the edge, look, that will work. I might have to cut a little bit off the edge side there. 
going to definitely get that glue off because that's naughty. Naughty glue. Right, so we're going to cut this parallel to the ideal word ish. I mean, I'm going to make that straight because that's actually a bit lopsided. I'm going to come along here and just do it quickly and cut that out. That's annoying, look. Otherwise, I'll be cutting it all wrong. There we go. It doesn't matter if you cut it wrong. Anyway, anyway, sometimes if you make mistakes, if you I don't know if you've ever noticed yourself, but I definitely have. If you make this, it's very bad that isn't it? <laughs> if you make mistakes, you often find out that you've discovered something new. So if you make mistake, don't despair. Discovered something new could be that uh, you know how to do it now, perhaps. That's another thing. Or not. Or you've uh, found something new that, oh yeah, I don't know, there's a new way of doing this. So, right, so that can go on to there. We're just going to stick it on and I'm going to have to remember to put an extra bit at the front for this one to make that little cute um, I don't know what do you call it a little thing at the front <laughs> well that's terrible that isn't it there's me saying don't I don't want to cut it like that and I should have done <laughs> I think that was the ideal way <laughs> no mind well cut a bit off like that get over there we're going to cut that properly in a minute so I'm not cutting that yet and I'm cutting this. Oh, am I doing it on, on um, to, is it too far away? I'll put it on one. One focus. Two focus is really close up. Okay, right, one. So now I'm going to put a hole somewhere in here. Hopefully in the middle. Have I got a hole? Where's the hole? Is that it? It's why is it blocked? It isn't there. Yeah, that's why it's blocked. Right, obviously get it the right way around. I'm using the ed these two edges to try and attempt to get it into the middle. And also the word. So, oh, that's, oh, that's good then, isn't it? Look at that. Right, so what I'm going to do now, right, this one is... I've cut that right close to the edge and done it round there, but we're not, we won't be doing that with this one because it's slightly different. So it depends where you've cut your hole. <laughs> so I've actually cut my hole up there. So I'm going. What I'm going to do is go to there, this side of the hole there. Actually, I'm going to cut round, and then I'm going to cut round. Okay, to about there it should be opposite here somewhere and you've got to be careful these are quite delicate so do be careful not to tear them when you put your them on your pages or they could try and strengthen it I think perhaps put something else behind it and glue it on because glue does strengthen um, I'm looking for my pins where are they Oh, so what colour shall we have? What colour we got in here? I can't even see. Is it purpley colour? I've got. I think I've got like a purpley colour. Or is it? Or is it because my glasses? Are <laughs> my glasses got purple on them. I don't know. Right, we'll put that through there anyway. That's. Are we going? Are we too close up? Is that right? So is that ideal? I did, did I ink it? Oh, I did, yeah, I did that, didn't I? Right, we can also do things like this as well. Let's have a look. I've got a 0 0.5, 0 0.05, sorry. Mini, tiny, weeny and nib. And you can do little dashes. Let me just get it really close up, then you can see it. Little dashes, look. Faux stitching. Turn it round. Right, 
Okay. Right then, so hopefully you've enjoyed this because I have, as, as usual. I think that's what you do. I think that's what I said to somebody the other day. All you've got to do is do what you enjoy and just hope other people watch. <laughs> that's what I do. I don't sort of try and... Uh, but I love those. Oh dear, sorry, I'm getting... The, look, this is why, isn't it? This is a, a bad reason. <laughs> Right, ideal focus nose. Are these the ones I made on? No, I didn't, didn't it? Well, there should be another one. Not the ones actually made on video. Come on, dears, where are they, dear? Okay, I think that's right. Those are the ones we did today, aren't they? And those are the ones that I did as a prototype a few minutes before. <laughs> right, I do hope you like my content today. It's so cute. Oh, yeah, because I, I didn't do a plaque, did I? And um, that's a similar one to that one. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. So if you get it a bit closer, get the hole a bit closer, that looks so cute. It's a bit like the ones in my 12 by 12 journal. That's what they're like. But there's nothing wrong with the one I did. Right, there they are. These are so cute. These are actually die cut ones. Where are they? They're die cut ones. With a little cute little hole thing. Oh, so good. And uh, yeah, that's really bad. Isn't it? I've obviously inked too much on that one. So, I do hope you like my content today. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Please share my video. Press notification bell with your crafty fingers. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That will be fantastic. Thank you so much. Now I'm not even showing you, am I? Look, we're in out of shot now. Yeah, this is the end shot. <laughs> okay, and what I was going to tell you. Oh, I think that. Oh, yeah, obviously, I'm going to. You should be able to find that on my. If you're on my Facebook group, this should be on there. If not, there's something very similar. Well, this should be on there. It's, it's, it's a so not, uh, easy to do anyway for yourself. Um, lots of stenciling, rubber stamps, script stamp, um, butterfly stamp, things like that. That's all I've done on that. And I just made a mess of it and I thought, oh, that looks really good. I'll photocopy that and well, scan it. <laughs> it. It works for quite a few projects I've done, actually. I mean, you can't even tell that's got anything like that on there. Oh, dear, a bit further down. But things, you know, you can't really tell. Can you? It looks a totally different colour. Okay then, so I don't like to go dive. Anyway, bye. Thanks very much.